let's go get some food. Okay, bye. I can't speak when you're near me. All I feel is something way bigger than me. Whoa, how's that orange lighting? Let's see if I can change it in editing. But anyway, I got a giant bag of food. Uh, last night, I decided to look up to see if this restaurant, let me start over. This restaurant that I like called Five Loves Cafe, I've shown you guys eating there at least once or twice, like in videos. I was with Kelsey, my dad and stuff. And they closed when all this stuff happened. Like they just completely closed. And I decided to look last night to see if they reopened and they did. Like, I don't even know why I looked. I just kind of had it in my head like, oh, I want to see if like maybe they're doing takeout now and whatever. And they opened up like over a week ago and I just didn't know. And so last night <laughs> I went a little overboard. Uh, I basically bought myself food for the next like three days from Five Loaves Cafe and I just wanted to show you uh, slash eat some of it because I'm a hungry girl. I have no idea what's in here. Oh, soup. Oh, okay. So I got a thing of chili, which I've never had. This is the only thing that I got. That smells good. Um, it's the only thing that I got that I never had before. I think Kelsey's gotten it a few times though and she likes it. Um, I got it on my mouth. Um, and then I got a giant thing of my favorite soup. Soup. Soup is a loose term. Um, this is potato, broccoli, cheddar soup, and it's freaking delicious. So I got like a giant thing of it. Um, and then I got a BLT on gluten free bread. And I got a Cobb salad. Well, a half a cup. And I'm going to eat a little bit of all of this right now. We can do a little, a little muk, mukbang, mukbang thing where you talk with food in your mouth. I, it's interesting to me that that has become a thing. Um, let me get a fork and a spoon. Hold on one second. So uh, yeah, this is definitely, I would guess food for the next three days, especially this. I'm gonna try this Mexican chili, but I don't wanna like eat a lot of it right now, but I wanna try it. It just has like a giant thing of avocado in it. Huh. This is like chili soup, by the way, kind of. Like it's very liquidy. This tastes pretty good. It's not like my favorite thing I've ever had, but it's not my least favorite thing I've ever had. I guess that's pretty good. That's pretty all right. Oh, it has a little, a little spice. I always found it so funny that on the top of this um, cheddar, broccoli, potato soup. They just put a piece of broccoli. <laughs> I always found it funny. I, I want one more bite of this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I get, how do I do this? Do I just like pour it? That's, that's weird. This is weird. Hold on. This is awkward. And then I got a BLT. I really like BLTs and I like never eat them. Like I never make them. I don't know the last time I made a BLT and this one has cheese on it. Like BLTs should have cheese on them. Like that's a thing. Oh. Mm. I've barely been just spit somehow on myself. I got like a white balsamic, I think. Um, I have barely been ordering out my food, like barely. I got sushi once, I got barbecue once, and I got Culver's burgers a, a few times, but that's it. Besides that, I've made every meal at home. And last night, I guess I got in the mood to eat out, but then I ordered enough food for like 18 people. Ranch is one of the best foods in the world, arguably. But as you can tell by all my food choices, I'm trying to eat the tiniest bit healthier. <laughs> but for me, as I mentioned in a recent video, that's more about portion control than it is about cutting out a lot of food. I'm gonna cut out certain foods or just drastically decrease certain foods, but I'm not trying to completely switch around my diet. I'm just trying to eat a little bit less, like just have less calorie intake. That's why I only poured this much soup. Sometimes even a decision of getting a 
vinaigrette versus a ranch, just a little decision like that sometimes could save you like 100 calories, which is wild. I don't actually know the difference in these two dressings, but sometimes there are a little bit healthier options that are easy to make. And sometimes it doesn't matter because you don't care. And that's okay too. Harry, stay out of my food. I should cover what I'm not eating, huh? Harry, do you want a little bit of soup? Where are you? Have any of you guys gotten to that level yet that like insects are your friends? We already know single use plastic sucks, but my um, water purifier thing is broken, so I just have some of these. Harry, do you want some soup? She was like flying around. What if I gave him soup? Like, would he eat it? Is that a question that normal people ask? Or just people who have flies as pets? It was really nice to get out of the house today. I really haven't been doing that. Even to go for walks or anything, I really haven't been. It's definitely safe in my neighborhood to do that, but I just really haven't. But I drove to my PO box today, and then I went and picked up this food. Maybe I'll go for like a longer drive after I eat. Cause it was nice to be in the car. I miss my car. It was nice to be in my car and like be out. Also, do you ever forget you have lipstick on and then you just like wipe your face and then you get lipstick everywhere? Okay. I think I'm gonna stop for now. That's kind of like the whole idea with what I want to do with eating is stopping before I get full because we don't need to be full. We need to be not hungry. So I had not even half of this sandwich. I had like two thirds of that half. I had this much soup, <laughs> not a lot of soup. I had like a couple bites of that and then I had what, five bites of salad. So that's for me, good. And sometimes I like, if I have like a salad that I'm putting in the fridge, keep the fork in there, the fork gets cold. There's this one restaurant called Firebirds and it's like a decently nice steakhouse. It's not a crazy expensive steakhouse, but it's like a pretty nice one. And I always love getting their BLT salad, I think is what it is, which is a, that's kind of funny that it's a mixture of these things. That's not funny at all, Katie. Anyway, when you get their BLT salad, they bring it, or I guess their salads in general, they bring it with a cold fork and it makes the whole experience feel so fancy. So if you want that experience at home, just put a fork in the fridge and then uh, you can eat it with your salad and be real fancy. All right, I'm gonna put this away and go for a little drive. I don't know where I'm gonna go, but just drive around. I'll show you guys. I recorded a little bit of uh, the drive getting this food, but I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more. Hang out in my car. And yeah, all right, I'll see you guys in a second. You take the ropes and I'll take advantage. You've never been loved and I'm a romantic. I know you've been hurt, but you could put faith into me. Cause I promise that I'll love you slow. Something different. You are the piece I've been missing all my life. Do you feel the same? I can't sleep thinking about you. All I feel is you make it harder to breathe. You take the ropes and I'll take advantage. You've never been loved and I'm a romantic. I know you've been hurt, but you could put faith into me, cause... Hey guys, it is several, several days later, and I have some updates. So, I did end up eating most of the food I bought. I did, this is the weirdest thing. I didn't finish the soup. Like, my cheese potato soup, soup. I didn't finish it, which is the weirdest thing, because that was what I was most excited about. It's like one of my favorite foods that I have ever had in South Carolina, and I didn't finish it. And I'm a little disappointed in myself, honestly. But I basically ate the rest of it over the next couple days. So that's the update on the food. Because I know that you guys were really, really curious if I ate it all. Almost. Just not the rest of that soup, but almost all of it. But then now I have sad news. Harry died. Harry, my pet fly that I had for several weeks, uh, died. And he died because I sprayed him with a disinfectant and then squashed him. 
I just, if you guys don't know the whole story, a fly flew in my house and I couldn't get rid of him and I didn't want to kill him because I don't want to unnecessarily kill a fly if I don't have to, but I couldn't get rid of him. And I couldn't even catch him to kill him even if I tried to. And so after like a day, I just was like, whatever, he just lives in here now. And that was honestly for like three weeks. And flies are only supposed to live about three weeks. So I probably killed him right before he was about to die anyway, but I just could not stand having a fly in the house anymore. Like sometimes I didn't see him, but then sometimes he would like fly right in my face and I just like could not deal with it anymore. And so I just had an opportunity to spray him and I did, I made it quick, don't worry. Um, but so Harry's gone now. So I'm back to just talking to my camera by myself in my apartment. I don't even know which is sadder, that my only human interaction is talking to a camera or that it was my human interaction was talking to a fly. I'm not sure which is sadder, but I mean, I, I do still talk to my friends. Like I text my friends and I FaceTime like my mom like every couple days. So I was mildly exaggerating. For the first time in my life, I never exaggerate ever. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video, really. I know this was a short little video of my my fake first attempt at a at a mukbang, 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 I think. My first attempt at one of those. I love that talking with food in your mouth has become a trend. I think it's very, very funny. So um, that was my first attempt at one. I hope you enjoyed it. And then when I drove around, I didn't even tell you that most of that footage was downtown, Charleston. So I drove around, which was nice. And now it's like three days later and I'm about to post this video. So I needed to end it. But uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Harry died, I ate food, drove around downtown. Um, oh, oh, just in case any of you guys care, can I please tell you the music that I have basically had on repeat for the last month? There are some times when I'll ask my A-L-E-X-A to just play what I have um, in my Apple Music. And she'll also add some other songs that are similar that she thinks that I'll like. But a lot of the time I'm asking her to play three things, three things. And I've mentioned all three of them on my Instagram, but um, sometimes I say things on Instagram that I don't say here. So if you wanna follow me on Instagram to get other like insider tips of my life, it's Katie Carney over there. But I've been listening to Rocco of the Snow, uh, the whole album, the whole album, Prime Mover. It is so good. Rocco is the keyboard player of the Reina Kindo. I just love his music. It's like you cannot be in a bad mood and listen to his music because if you are, his music will immediately change your mind, especially the song Come to the Light. To me, it's just like the happiest, danciest song. Um, love it, love it. Rocco's such a cool guy, freaking love his music. And then the other two are just songs that I've had on repeat. So if my neighbors, if my neighbors can hear that I talk to myself or hear my music or whatever, they probably hate me by now because if I'm not playing Rocco and I've listened to that album or at least a couple songs on that album almost every single day for the last like two months. But if that's not playing and if I don't have just my music on shuffle, which I do every once in a while, I am listening to one of two songs, June After Dark by Elliot Root. It's like more of like an intense kind of like slower-ish kind of song. Not like super fun poppy dancey like Rocco's, but like such an intense song. And the thing about June After Dark is that if you go listen to it, which I highly recommend you do, you need to make sure that you listen to the end because the first is just like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, like most songs, right? And it's still really, really good, but the best part is the last like minute of the song. But you need to listen to the whole thing so it like builds up and it's, it's so good. It is so good. And then the last song, <sighs> this last song, um, I just heard for the first time like a week ago and I've probably listened to it a hundred times. Um, it's called Get Away by Cavo. First of all, if you ask your A-L-E-X-A, I'm not gonna say her name because I don't wanna like alarm all of yours, but if you ask her, you have to like really enunciate get away because if you say get away, I think she thinks it's one word and then she can't find it. <laughs> so you have to say get away by Cabo. That song, if you like more like rock music, just like straight up rock music, that would be like on the radio, but still in like a, you know, like an alternative kind of way, go listen to Get Away by Cabo. Cabo, C-A-V-O. Oh, that song is just so good. I love the pre-chorus and then I love the chorus and it's catchy and it's fun. It's a little like louder kind of like, that would be a really fun song, I think to like blast while you're like cleaning your house, you know, like it's really like fun 
loud kind of song. Um, love it. Anyway, so that's what I've been listening to. And I've been watching a lot of um, American Housewife. You guys know that I love MasterChef Junior and I watched the first six seasons and I'm on the seventh season and I honestly have not watched it in a few days and I think part of it is because I don't want to finish because then that means it's over because I think there's only seven seasons on Hulu right now or maybe just seven seasons in general I don't know but I also was just kind of in the mood to watch just like a regular sitcom and usually I just re-watch sitcoms over and over I've seen Friend a thousand times, New Girl a thousand times, The Mindy Project a thousand times but I was in the mood for like a new show and so I started watching American Housewife and I'm already on the fourth season. <laughs> and it's just a good old sitcom. Like it's a good old really funny sitcom. Um, and I also watched Never Have I Ever. That was just like a 10 episode thing that Mindy Kaling uh, wrote. And that was really good. So those are like the three things that I've been watching on TV. The three music uh, acts that I've been listening to. And yeah, just wanted to give you a little bit more content in this video because I know that it was really short. I gotta take my trash out. I feel like that's happened a couple times when I'm recording and I'm like, oh, I gotta take my trash out. Like it reminds me. So I guess that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me. As always, if you have anything that you want to see or any questions that you have for me or any suggestions of videos, please let me know in the comments. And please make sure that you're subscribed. I post three times a week. And so if you click that little notification bell, you will be notified of all those videos. And follow me on Instagram if you want more content. It's a lot of Instagram stories. I do a lot of Instagram stories. So if you want to do that, it's Katie Carney over on Instagram. I would love to have you. But for now, that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.